Remember to click subscribe and notification button for more APA's video. Cooking APA Hi, this is Cooking APA. Uh, APA will be posting 4 videos uh, a week on every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday and Sunday, Malaysian time 7pm. You're going to see a new video from Cooking APA. Okay? Uh, and APA has uploaded over 600 videos, cooking ideas, over the past two and a half years. So, uh, go and have a look if you are interested, if you think it's going to help you, to give you some cooking ideas. APA doesn't teach people how to cook. APA is not a professional chef. I'm only a normal dad who cooks for my family. So, what I'm showing you every day is actually my, uh, my family dinner. Okay? So, uh, this morning, I actually went to uh, one of my usual spots. It's actually a, um, a fishmonger operating through a little lorry. Yeah. So, um, the good thing about him is he, he only sells uh, seafood from uh, those which is actually uh, fished by, um, by some people at, from uh, Pulau Ketam. Uh, and it's actually a small island, right? Um, so, this is actually not from the uh, commercially uh, caught seafood. So uh, his fish normally is a little bit more expensive than the wet market, but cheaper, cheaper than the supermarket. So it's in between that two. Uh, and then it is super, super fresh because uh, it is normally fish like today and tomorrow he will come and sell it off. Uh, if you buy from the commercially done um, uh, fishermen, then those will sometimes, is, it, it can go up to a, a week or two. Okay, those fish. Okay. Um, I actually saw, I've, I bought some seafood from him this morning. This is the, some of the seafood that I bought. Uh, two snapper here about, um, this is about 300 gram each. Yeah, I, first time I'm seeing this kind of size. So it's definitely not commercially driven. <laughs> um, so uh, whole fish, just nice for my fish soup. Okay, and then uh, I also bought some uh, sea prawn from him, which I'm going to just put it in to the fish soup to, uh, later. Uh, I happen to have some, uh, open my fridge just now, I happen to see some fruzu. This is the fried fruzu, so uh, I can actually put it towards the end. And today I'm going to add this just to add, to give some umami flavor to the fish soup. This is actually the salted, um, salted uh, radish or salted, yeah, salted radish, chai po. Yeah, this is actually the chai po, okay? Salted ones. And this is a few slices of old ginger. And I'm, I'm going to use the uh, uh, pork lard to actually uh, fry my fish first. You can use normal oil, no problem. Uh, reason why I use pork lard is because pork lard will actually add, give some extra flavor and uh, natural sweetness to your soup as well. It is the fat from, uh, from uh, the, the ingredient that actually gives a natural sweetness to the soup. Okay, Appa is using a standard steel wok. I'm going to put a little bit of oil to induce the oil coming out from uh, the pork lard. If you don't want to put the oil, also can. Up to you. This is just my habit. You can even put water actually. <laughs> All right. So um, we are going. To, I'm going to um, basically pan fry uh, the pork fat to um, to really uh, render the uh, oil out from the pork fat. Uh, this process may take a couple of minutes. Uh, we don't have to uh, pan fry until it is fully crispy, no need. Uh, just to uh, allow major uh, most of the majority of the uh, most part of the oil actually release out. Then we can actually continue to uh, fry our fish. We will come back shortly. Okay, this is after about uh, four or five minutes rendering the pork fat using medium heat, okay? As you can see, it is not really um, fully crispy fry. <laughs> Some people hated me to use this word. Okay, uh, but you know what I mean, okay? So I'm going to push this to the side. You can also remove it if you like, up to you. So I've marinated, marinated my fish with some uh, salt. The fish is really, really very fresh. From the color, from the texture, I know really. Fantastic. Uh, but the prawn is not as good as I thought anyway. Yeah. 
but the fish is good. I think uh, I, I actually bought one bigger one which is about 1.1 kg for the snapper. I paid uh, I think 45 ringgit per kg for that. All right? So that fish is about 1.1 or 1.2 kg so you end up about eight, uh, 60 over ringgit. So always remember every time when you want to cook a fish soup, you will want to pan fry the fish first. Yeah, by doing so, uh, uh, it will actually help the fish to release its uh, nice fragrance and uh, sweetness to the soup easier. Um, because this is not exactly a deep fried fish video, so I really wouldn't mind if the fish doesn't turn out to be very, uh, that, uh, looks very nice after that. So because we may we may actually flip it over slightly earlier than normal. Uh, if you are deep frying your fish for the sake of deep frying only, then you will want to wait at least two to three minutes before you want to flip over to the other side. Okay, uh, but but now we we don't really have to wait so long. I actually just wanted to get some char each side from the fish. Then from then we can actually continue. Actually while waiting, I can prepare some hot water. The, uh, try to use hot water. I have a water dispenser that gives me uh, both hot and uh, cold water, so it's very useful. Always try to use hot water while cooking because uh, you you don't want to reduce the heat of your the temperature of your wok. If if. If you don't put enough oil like this, uh, especially when you are using a uh, standard steel wok, uh, your fish is bound to stick at the bottom. <laughs> at the bottom of the wok, it will, it will definitely stick. But it doesn't really matter, okay? Because this is not a, a deep fry uh, fish dish. Yeah? Yes. Oops. Don't worry, it's okay. I just want to char the fish a bit and now we can actually put in uh, the ginger and put in the hot water so this is going to be a fish soup, so I'm going to put a little bit more hot water here. If you really don't want uh, the fish to stick onto the your wok, if you, are, you, if you insist using a stainless steel wok, then you have to put a lot more oil. Okay? If you insist on using a little bit of oil, then use a non-stick. Use high heat all the way to cook your fish soup so that you can actually easier for you to uh, obtain the what we call the uh, uh, milky, the milky broth. Remember we have this. This is what we call the uh, uh, chai pu, okay? Chai po. It's optional if you don't have it, don't worry. But this will actually further enhance the dish. You know some people actually uh, have some chai po which is as old as 50, 30, 40 years. Those are even much better for soup. <laughs> but I'm, I'm, I have to remind you, those are extremely salty, and you don't you don't put a lot into the soup. You probably put a very small um, half teaspoon or so. Let it boil. When it boils towards the end, then only I'm going to add the prawn and also the fuzhou, and I'm going to let it boil for about at least five minutes. Then only I will continue. So we will come back after five minutes. Okay, this is simmering under medium high heat for the past uh, 5 minutes and you can see my broth has actually turned milky color very easily just like that, see? I think there's um, somehow from my experience there, there seems to be two reasons. Number one, um, whole, either a whole fish or a fish head is easier to create the milky broth. Number two, um, Number two, you really need, um, some say put in hot, cold water, but I always use hot water, so I don't know. Uh, some say it's actually the reaction between the oil and the water, so I don't know, just, uh, but 
I, 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 the only thing I know is it tastes very good. <laughs> okay, um, now we can actually uh, put in the prawns, which will need about only um, three minutes maximum, two to three minutes to be fully cooked. Then, not forgetting um, the fried fuzu. So I'm going to let this to continue cook for another two to three minutes. Then we will do some final seasoning and it is done. Beautiful, really very beautiful um, fish soup in a matter of 10 minutes. Okay, the fuzu has already been softened. Let's give the prawn another Two more minutes. Let me take a picture. Hmm. Okay, we will come back shortly again. Right, this is after another three minutes uh, boiling under uh, medium heat. Okay, the uh, the fish soup is basically done. Uh, I apologize for those people who hated me saying the word okay too many times in my video. Sorry, yeah, uh, my apology. Okay, I'm going to put in some salt and some white pepper all right done the fish is done very simple isn't it and it is it has some very beautiful milky color people will have thought that you have been cooking this soup for the past two hours but it's only 10 minutes <laughs> all right i hope you like my video um if you like my video do share my video on your facebook to your friends Come to Cooking Appa Facebook fan page to click like and follow button. Follow up on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Appa YouTube channel. Bye bye.